Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing Clockwork Night on the Sega Saturn. Definitely want to show you guys this intro. It's pretty epic. That's Princess Chelsea. Every night at 12, she sings and wakes up all the toys. It's got like a whole theme song and stuff. It's definitely awesome. <laughs> That's Pepper Shao. So something kidnapped her. And the basic story is that you have to go find her and bring her back before dawn or else the toys will never awake again. Pretty awesome uh, beginning there. You can see his name there, Pepper Shao's Adventure. I'll just show you the options real quick. Because there is uh, different difficulties, hard, normal, and training. I guess you can't beat the full game on training, so we'll play it on normal. You can also change the number of lives you have uh, up to six, but we'll just stick with the normal three. All right, let's get into it. This came out in 1995. I picked this game up uh, probably like four years ago at a pawn shop. And I kind of forgot about it, but I, I knew I always wanted to play it someday. So just started playing this yesterday, and it's, it's definitely a really fun game. I picked up this and uh, the Alien Trilogy for Sega Saturn for like 60 bucks, if I remember correctly. Uh, one thing about this game, it has really good... I like the animation, and I like the music a lot. It's 
basically you got your key as a weapon. Uh, if you double tap right or left, you can run. But that can kind of cause you to fall off edges and stuff sometimes. This right here makes you invincible for a short bit. Can open up these little boxes. Now you see at the bottom left there, you have those gears. You start with three gears. That's basically how many hits you have. So you get three hits to start with, and if you collect a gold key, it will fill up your hits and give you an extra hit. Um, the silver key will fill up your hits, and the bronze key will give you back one hit. Uh, you can also pick up enemies when you stun them. just a big fan of these types of games especially one like this it's like super colorful you can tell they tried to be different which I can appreciate and there is some hidden things such as lives and stuff like that hidden around the level uh, actually I think I forgot one life now the lives come in helmets there's a blue and gold helmet that is his father's I guess if you find that one, you can get one extra life. And if you find the uh, orange and gold one, it, it will give you three extra lives. That was his grandfather's helmet. Uh, if you hold the jump button, you can kind of do this little extra lift. So there's one right here. See that right there? That's extra life. And I actually was pleasantly surprised by this game. I think it's, like, really fun. It's not super hard, which sometimes that's nice just to kind of play a casual game you can just enjoy. But I feel like it's got a lot going for it. You can push certain objects... Now these little bottle caps, they call them Imperial Crowns. You use those for the bonus stage. And uh, you can have a chance to win extra lives or more caps. Things like that. That right there gives you three lives. You can see how the sea is like darker than the rest of it. If you can land on the sea, oh, like I just did, you can get an extra life that way. It took me a while to figure that out because it doesn't describe it in the manual for some reason. Okay, so right now we're in Betsy's room. Each area has two levels in it and the boss. And there is a time limit, but I don't really feel like it's a problem. Like, I never really feel like I'm going to run out of time. Because they do put those extra clocks around, which give you plus five seconds. down here you can get extra life
It's a fun type of game where you can just spend some time trying to find secret areas and stuff, which I love. This game kind of reminds me of Cool Spot, and I absolutely love Cool Spot for the Genesis. That was the gold key. Gives me an extra hit. Uh, if you can make your key touch an object, you can get it, which is pretty cool, too. for the W. Ah, uh, I missed it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just kind of something fun to do at the end. Right now we have eight guys. And if you have 20 of those caps, you can buy yourself another continue. So you don't want to spend too much in the bonus game. You want to make sure you save at least 20. All right, here's the first boss. Bosses are definitely pretty creative. Okay, here's the bonus game. Pepper Shao, I am pleased to see you. How many coins will you wager? So you can see up top there, I got 27. So I'm just gonna bet five for now. Keep your eye on the boxes as they spin. So I'm always looking for the extra lives, which is those blue and gold helmet. It spins so fast. It's definitely hard to keep track of. Uh, I think maybe this one is a helmet. Yes. All right. You may win double or lose it all. So you can keep playing if you want. Double your luck, but I'm good with getting one. No, I do not want to play anymore. Farewell. You can bet up to 15 coins there. Or crowns. Have a safe journey. Come back soon. Now we're in Kevin's room. Ah, uh, yes, those are tea bags. Gives tea bagging a whole new uh, feeling. <laughs> First time I saw that, I was like, wow, I'm really getting teabagged. Haven't been teabagged this much in uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Unique character for a game. <laughs> Put 
push that into there, and then you can step on a switch. Uh, there is a free life down there, but I'm not gonna go for it. I don't really need it. And you can, like, hold the down button to look and hold up. Just like in Cool Spot. Let's see, is there anything here? Yeah, you can see I can go down on the right side there. Got your hippo cookies. Check out down here. These guys, it took me a while to figure out what to do. You want When they're going like that, you want to hit them in their legs. If I can do it. Come on. There we go. for the O. Nice. So you gotta be careful about this plane enemy coming up. What I feel like works best is kind of just do like a like a half jump right there. Because if you get hit, you do kind of fly backwards. You just really got to watch out for uh, double tapping the directional pad on accident. So I've done that so many times. Like right there, I almost did it on accident. So if you walk off the edge here, you're dead. Looking for the O.
Okay, this is pretty cool. It's like you're like fighting a transformer. And you can see in the background there, they have a poster of it. You just want to make sure you take care of these two little guys right away. Otherwise, they'll keep chasing you. I think the more you wager, like the better the prizes you can win. We'll do 10 this time. You can see there's an orange helmet trying to fall that one. Oh my gosh. I really don't know where that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Maybe this one? Oh, nice. Got it. I'll just take the three lives, thank you very much. All right, in the kitchen. thing about this level is that the countertop is like all slippery. little cats who'll throw a spoon at you, like a sugar spoon or something. I don't run right here because I don't, because you got to jump on these shelves and you could slip right off them.
for the O. Oh, so close. Now, normally you get five minutes per level, and I read that in hard mode, you only get four minutes per level. I'm not sure if there's uh, much any more of a difference than that. All it said was the time was less. This one's pretty cool. In the kitchen sink. If you go too far under the water, you do take some damage. Another kind of unique thing is instead of lives, they call them tries. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, you can pick this up. Getting out of here, it's a little tricky. I don't even know how to do it. Like the top of this faucet just like breaks off. Oh, there it goes. Maybe you just gotta eliminate all the enemies. Pretty, but we get out of there. Looking for the L. Oh, didn't even see the L. Make sure that pot doesn't hit you when it comes back. Oh. Come on, what am I doing? And it's slippery in here, too. If you can get on this side of them, like you're safe, the pot won't hit you. sure how many hits the enemies take. It may be different for each enemy. I'm just trying to be careful on this guy. 
I think he's almost done. Also, have time on the bosses. Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Run, Pepper Shall. You know what? Let's do fifteen this time. Why not? We got enough. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I see the orange one. Okay, I really am not sure. This one? Oh, hey, we got one life. I'm happy with that. Making our way to the last area. The attic. push him too far back because there's like more of them back there. There we go. I think there's one more. Make sure you're not too close to them because they can damage you. You could also throw them too if you wanted to. Thank you. 
or the O. Oh, we just got a free life from, uh, I guess, points. Must have been. Okay, so this level is kind of like a maze. Well, it is a maze, but it's not too hard. If you go in any of these first three, you'll just kind of go in a circle and you'll come back out near the beginning. Not that one, like that one counts as three. So what you can do, just keep going past those. And you can go in this one if you want to get some extra time. Although it's not really needed, but I'll just show you where it is. It's all tons of time in this one. So you want to get up top there. There's actually more time over here too. So. So if you do that. So last time we went in this first box coming up. You just want to make sure you go in the second one this time. There's three of them over here. And if you go in the third one, you'll just have to go back around. And that will come out up top. There's also some more time over here. Alright, this next part is kind of a pain in the butt. Just want to like carefully walk off the edge and make sure you're holding the button to grab the football. Because it'll help block you from a hit. Alright. So I like to use that right there. What makes it so hard is if you get hit, you kind of get pushed. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, I just fell down. Alright, so I'm just going to hurry up and get back over there. I won't go into the time room this time. Yeah, that's what makes this level hard. Just a lot of ways you can get hurt. Just by falling off the edge. Oh, great. Let's do this. Come 
There we go. That part's tough because you have to like, you have to make sure you're running to get by those jumps, I believe. I don't know, I've only done it like that. Alright. Princess Chelsea. So this is the final boss. And it's a pretty crazy one. First time I saw this, I was like, what the hell? It's like a TV. So what you want to do is hit the claw when it comes down. And then he'll do this and he'll kind of jump around. But you see those pencils? You want to get him to jump on the pencils when he's jumping around. This boss isn't as hard as the last boss, I don't think. So I kind of got a better pattern for this one. I'll just push this over to the corner. I'll let him jump on it there.
That boss isn't as hard as the last boss. And it takes whatever you got left and gives you a final score. Gotta watch this. <laughs> yes, she is a perfume bottle. Look, you gotta appreciate the time they put into this game. Even gave it its own songs and stuff. It's definitely a pretty fun game. I would definitely recommend it if you haven't played it and you do have a Sega Saturn. Uh, I know there's also Clockwork Night 2. I unfortunately don't have that game and I, I know it's around like a $100 game right now. But I imagine that's probably good as well. 
Not super hard, but definitely super fun. this song. I'm feeling it. A lullaby. Definitely. Although she has been rescued. She cannot wake up. Mmm. That's where they went with number two. Alright guys. Well I want to thank you for watching. There will be more videos to come soon. Have a good one. Bye.